I'm your host Rob. This video, we're going to do a follow-up bullshit video to Godzilla 2014. Okay guys, welcome back. So I know I said in my channel update I was gonna do this Friday, but I said, you know what? Tomorrow's New Year's Eve, then Wednesday's New Year's Day. I do work two days this week. It's a very light week for me. So I don't want to wait till Friday. I want to do this today. And, and the reason I'm doing it today is because there really isn't a whole lot of bullshit to cover that's happened with this movie from way back when to now. Um, actually, the bullshit with this movie has increased uh, pretty much since November. Uh, ever since the leaked trailer, that's when the bullshit really started to fly off the shelves. Um, so I'm going to go over a couple of stories. And I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to link any websites or any places that... And I do have them. But I think at this point, I don't really want to shout anybody out anymore. I just want to go over the actual... Plus, a lot of you guys know where it's from. So I'm not going to sit here and, and start knocking the multiple websites where I found these originally or the tweet accounts that, <laughs> that said the random bullshit. Um, so I remember the first thing I heard that was complete bullshit was Megalon being in a movie. That was the, one of the first bullshit stories I heard. It was Megalon, and uh, I heard it on the internet. I heard this, I want to say, in September... Uh, right before we got the leaked picture of Godzilla from that festival or whatever it was or down in Brazil. And um, it was a big story. Uh, a lot of people were excited about it. There was even concept art. And a lot of people were buying into it. And I, and I think I think that's when Legendary, con when, I guess when they heard the rumors, maybe that at the time is when they confirmed that they weren't having any Toho monsters in this movie. Uh, which today still stands. I myself have speculated that even though we may not see a Toho monster, we may see a monster in homage to a Toho monster. We don't know yet because we have not officially seen a Muto monster yet. But uh, that was the first bullshit story. It was the whole Megalon, the blah, 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 blah Megalon. Megalon's going to be, and it turned out to be bullshit. bullshit. Right. So, moving on from that. <laughs> now, in between that, there were always bullshit stories coming out. Uh, this this uh, person's going to be doing this, or, or this is where Godzilla's going to be. This is what Godzilla's going to look like. And, so, but the next biggest bullshit, and this is probably the biggest one of everything, because this went on for almost a whole month, was, <clears throat> I think, October 1st, or October 2nd, a little before the first trailer leaked, uh, the first trailer leaked October 4th, so I think it was a day or two before, was the rumored speculation of the trailer being revealed November 3rd. Bullshit. bullshit. Now, this for me at the time was very frustrating because my channel was fairly new. My Godzilla, basically my Godzilla videos and my Walking Dead videos were pretty much what were getting my, my channel up there. And then when the Godzilla trailer broke, that's what pretty much broke my channel onto the scene. And then um, once I started getting a, a good following, I, that's when I started doing upgrades to the channel and stuff like that. So this was a very frustrating bullshit story for me because everybody was buying it. Everybody was buying it. And I remember uh, on September 24th, and I know some of you guys have said, heard me say this again, uh, before, some of you guys saw my video on ODT right before I shut down where I put a clip of me saying this, but September 24th I did a video stating that I felt that the Godzilla trailer would be in front of The Hobbit and it made the most sense, which obviously gained no steam. Nobody... <laughs> There are some people on my channel now who are subscribers that know I said this. Brian Crockett in particular is one of them because he agreed and said the same thing. So then the trailer broke shortly thereafter. Well, then was the story of November 3rd. Then the trailer broke shortly thereafter. So for almost a whole month of October, because we had gotten a leak, people then 100% felt strongly that the trailer was going to be November 3rd. Bullshit. Oh, then... Shit. I wasn't buying it at first. And then I said, well, maybe, maybe, you know what, maybe that does make sense. And then I said, well, what if we have it November 1st? And I, I had made that speculation because I had believed that it made more sense for it to happen on a Friday as opposed to doing it on a Sunday because November 3rd had fell on a Sunday. So the weeks went by, weeks went by, and I would say about pff, mid to going into late October is when I fully said, when I jumped on the bandwagon. I said to myself, you know what? Everybody's saying it. Somebody must know something. If everybody's doing, if everybody's jumping on this bandwagon, it's got to be true. You know, so obviously I fell for the hoopla. And I said, okay, but I still don't think it's going to be November 3rd. It doesn't make any sense. What if it's November 1st? So November 1st, what happened was they actually showed the, re the same trailer, I think, in a different uh, Comic-Con. I can't remember if it was in Italy or if it was here in the States. But they did show one, but it was the same trailer. And then I remember everything going nuts going into Sunday. People were going nuts. People were this, people were that. 
And then Sunday went by and nothing. And then I remember two days later, I had my uh, uh, collaboration with GojiFan93. And we sat there and we spoke about it. He was disappointed. I was disappointed. And then, um, you know, we had talked about The Hobbit. And then this led right into the next piece of bullshit. Suddenly, everyone and their mother, <laughs> everyone and their father said, it's going to be in front of The Hobbit. I have a source, but I can't tell you, which is really complete bullshit. bullshit. Right. So... Everybody's on the Hobbit bandwagon. This is, and I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? I said the Hobbit back September 24th. Nobody fucking said anything then. So it was. I was like, oh my god, like facepalm, like people, people. So then you get this Twitter account, who their words said, I spoke to Warner Brothers International, and they told me that it's going to be in front of the Hobbit. And I questioned this person. I asked him for a source. And they said that they spoke to somebody on the phone. Still didn't get a name. And I was like, Bullshit. Okay. So either he's got a scoop or he's just making a bold statement and he's going to be lucky. And to this day, I still believe it's just, it was a sheer luck. Because really, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that The Hobbit was the most obvious choice after, this, after November 3rd. It makes perfect sense. Um, so... <laughs> So then suddenly everybody started reporting The Hobbit like it was breaking news. Like everybody's like, oh, it's going to be in front of The Hobbit. It's going to be in front of The Hobbit. I have a source, but I can't say it. And I'm just sitting here like, I can't believe this shit. I can't believe Bullshit. Bullshit. suddenly everybody has a source. Everybody has a source, but nobody can say anything. There was another Twitter account. Uh, again, I'm not going to get into names now. If you look at my old videos, you remember what I'm talking about. And they were based in India. And they said that they had a reliable source that it would come out in front of The Hobbit. So I questioned this person, and their reliable source was a small toy company out in Minnesota. Bullshit. bullshit. Really? <laughs> so, th I mean, and that's just the kind of bullshit that just kept going and going. And then when, when the trailer finally came out in December, I said to myself, you know what? I should be a dick and tell people that technically they were wrong. It came out before The Hobbit. So technically, those people were wrong. It came out before The Hobbit first. It was on The Hobbit Four days after it was released, so technically they were wrong. But I was well. I'm doing it now, really. So kind of, I kind of already did it now. So, but technically they were wrong. Tec and actually, if I recall, I think one of my earlier videos on this channel now, and I think it's still up. I think I even mentioned that if we saw it before The Hobbit, don't be surprised. Hmm. Did I say that? Let's go take a look. So what does this mean? Well, this means that well, we're definitely getting one soon. Um, it could be anywhere between tomorrow and next month. Obviously, with the whole speculation and the talk of the the trailer being in front of The Hobbit, that looks obviously more and more likely now. But I'm willing to bet that we might even see it before that. So, there you have it. <laughs> but anyway, look, the, the bottom line is, and then of course we all know what the recent bullshit with that troll on uh, GodzillaNews.com. And, and I, I should probably officially apologize to them because I was slamming them the other day during my rants. But really, it's not their fault that they can't control... What people put on their form you know they they can't control that people are going to be dicks and put shit up they're going to put shit up um you know I, I think you know when you go back and you read some of their articles real honestly if you guys pay attention they do state either it's uncertain or they're speculating much like me when i come out here and i do a video i just i come out straight up and i say i speculate because you know what <laughs> i don't have any scoops i don't i don't in fact you know there was a time that i was so wrapped up to trying to get scoops and and now I've seen what it's become in the last couple of months, and I, I think I'm just going to kind of break away from that. I, I think I enjoy more just speculating on what we're going to see, just talking about the movie in general. But in terms of, you know, the latest news on it or what's the latest break, or I, I think I'm just going to fall back from that and let other people just break that news because the bottom line is we don't know. We don't. We don't know. Nobody is privy to this information. The actors are not. If you see the again, I'm gonna I'm gonna quote the interview with with uh, Patrick uh, uh, Sabangi from the movie. If they don't know, how the hell is anyone else gonna know? I think at this point, I'm just gonna fall back. There's a new year coming. I want to have fun with Godzilla because the more I concern myself with all this breaking and, and you saw it happen to me the other day. I, I fell for the trap, even though I still mentioned that it was 50-50, Overall, I fell for the trap, and that's why I came back with the rant video a day later. Because I, I'm not going to ruin this movie for myself. I'm, I've been waiting for this movie for so long that the last thing I want to do is worry about what the latest news is. And quite frankly, I don't even want to spoil it for myself. I, I think for me, the cat's out of the bag already. We've seen the trailer. We've seen what Godzilla looks like for the most part. Uh, we, I think we've got fed enough information 
in December that I'm, I'm pretty content. Uh, the only thing left for me to really chew on is Muto, one of the new monsters. That's the only thing I'd like to see. But outside of that, you know, with the, the toys and the fake pictures and the fake stories and all this other bullshit, bullshit. bullshit. people claiming to have a source when they fucking don't, people claiming to know when something's going to happen when they really don't, I think I'm just done with that. What you're going to see from now on, and it doesn't mean that if something legitimately breaks, I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm not going to sit here and wait till 3 in the morning to make a video to break it. I'll just talk about it the next day. I don't care. <laughs> At this point, I just want to talk Godzilla. I want to talk about the movie. I want to talk about speculation, which you think we might see. Um, but in terms of the new stuff, pff, I think this year I'm just going to start on a new leaf. This is Entertainment Talk Nation, and I want to talk entertainment. I'm not a news anchor. <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm not a, a, a journalist. I'm just some dude that has a great hobby of talking about all things related to entertainment and I like to share it with my viewers and I want to make sure I give you guys the best content possible because you take time out of your schedule to watch me. So anyway, that's the bullshit from the Godzilla. That's pretty much the focal point from day one to this point. There have been a lot of little stories in between, but primarily it was the Megalon story, the November 3rd trailer release, everyone sourcing that they had an inside scoop on The Hobbit when anybody with a brain could figure that out. And then, <laughs> and then the most recent crap with the mites and Talagan and this and that. So, but I am still gonna see my do my bullshit video. I got, I got, and that's gonna be for the new year. I am gonna do my bullshit videos. It's a little sarcastic response to all the bullshit that's happened. So just wait for that. I'm not gonna tell you what it's all about, but it is coming soon. But anyway, guys. So that's the year-end review of bullshit Godzilla-related news. So I'm gonna let the scoopers and the sourcers have their day and I just wanna I'm just gonna wait for the movie. I have enough information to keep me content at this point. So but you will still see me speculating on certain topics and certain movie topics. So it's not gonna end. It's not gonna end. Take it easy guys. See you next video. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host Rob. This video we're going to do a follow-up bullshit video to Godzilla 2014. <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome back. So I know I said in my channel update I was going to do this Friday, but I said, you know what? Tomorrow's New Year's Eve, then Wednesday's New Year's Day. I do work two days this week. It's a very light week for me. So I don't want to wait till Friday. I want to do this today. And, and the reason I'm doing it today is because there really isn't a whole lot of bullshit to cover that's happened with this movie from way back when to now. Um, actually, the bullshit with this movie has increased uh, pretty much since November. Uh, ever since the leaked trailer, that's when the bullshit really started to fly off the shelves. Um, so I'm going to go over a couple of stories. Now, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to link any websites or any places that and i do have them but i think at this point i don't really want to shout anybody out anymore i just want to go over the actual plus a lot of you guys know where it's from so i'm not going to sit here and, and start knocking the multiple websites where i found these originally or the tweet accounts that <laughs> that said the random bullshit um so i remember the first thing i heard that was complete bullshit was megalon being in a movie that was the, one of the first bullshit stories i heard it was megalon and uh, I heard it on the internet. I heard this, I want to say in September, uh, right before we got the leaked picture of Godzilla from that festival or whatever it was or down in Brazil. And um, it was a big story. Uh, a lot of people were excited about it. There was even concept art. And a lot of people were buying into it. And I, and I think 